other kite people. Swim from around these kites. And today, no thunderstorms. <laughs> so, I'm about to try out this new location. Just a 10 minutes drive from my house and uh, I've never been there, be well actually I've been there, but I haven't been flying there before, so hopefully it's a good place, hopefully the vegetation is uh, not too much, and uh, hopefully the wind is coming from the right direction, uh, I don't know, but uh, today I am going to uh, fly a kite I haven't been flying for 20 years, it's an ATF Hardcore Vented, ATF meaning Arealis Team Flyers and it's uh, one of a set of six that Anders put together in just five days before the Nordic Kite Meeting in 2003 that's 20 years ago uh, I've been uh, giving it some uh, TLC lately, you know fixing a tear, gluing on some sea stoppers yeah, adding or replacing the upper spreader so now it's ready to fly and uh, the wind right now it's uh, what do you call it it's called it a sea breeze don't you it's coming in from the sea of course at about uh, six to eight meters per second in the lower wind range of the kite but hopefully it's flyable and uh, well why don't you join me and see how it works out let's go here I am and uh, actually this looks really good. Let's go fly a kite. Ah, it's flyable, but the wind, it's dying down pretty fast now. So I'll do some more. <coughs> I'll run through the routine once again and see if it's possible, despite the very low wind for this super vented ATF hardcore. Let's check it out, shall we?
it's on the edge. Takes a lot of work running uphill as well, but it's doable and the kite, it flies. So, uh, thumbs up, right? Yeah. And then, then the wind died. Now it's about maybe one, one and a half meters per second. That's three or four miles per hour. And this guy won't fly. Too heavy, too much vent. But a few minutes ago, when we had some wind, it flew. It's not gonna be my favorite kite, but uh, if the wind picks up, you know, really picks up to about 15 meters per second, or what's that? between 30 and 40 miles per hour then then you can fly this hardcore then you can have then you can fly this hardcore have a lot of fun and uh, that's why we're taking it to Denmark because if the winds decide to go ballistic we got the tools to fly yeah you know just fly